Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm joining you from this brisk Houston morning uh, because I got another question about 1099. So I figured I'd clear the air about 1090 on, 1099s. I, I know I advertise 1099 jobs all the time on LinkedIn and there's been a few times on this channel and some of the community posts I posted them. But uh, there there is a lot of myths about 1099s and there's a lot of things that probably you guys should know, all right? So let's get right into it. A 1099 is an independent contractor, which means you are not an employee of that company. A 1099 can be a company, so if you start your own LLC, which I highly suggest many of you guys do, um, or you could just you know be a 1099 using your social security number, but the company that's hiring you has to track you somehow. So they're either going to do it using your EIN number, which is generated once you get your uh, LLC, uh, or you're going to uh, do it through your social security. And the reason being is because uh, the federal government likes to get their share of your money. So a 1099 is an independent contractor, which means you accept what jobs you do want to do and what jobs you don't want to do. You generally negotiate your schedule, um, things like lodging and travel. If they're included, they might not be. There's, there's a lot of aspects to 1099, but the most important thing you should know is since there are not an employee of the company, a 1099 is going to be responsible for their own taxes at the end of the year. If you own an LLC, this is nothing new to you. I mean, you obviously have to do your taxes at the end of the year, given. However, if you're, a, if you're a 1099 as an individual, you should probably deposit all your funds into an account and pay yourself. You pay yourself. So you have two different accounts. One of them is like your business account and your other account should be uh, like your personal, your checking account, okay? Uh, you can have multiple checking accounts and you can even put them under different names like uh, Better Biomed LLC can have a checking account, right? So. The thing about 1099s is yes, you have to do your own taxes. You're responsible for your own health care and your own benefits, but there's some huge, huge advantages to 1099s. And that's why I encourage people, you know, if you're industrious, if you are um, a hungry person, if you like traveling, any of the above, I suggest you maybe don't look at in-house positions instead start looking at 1099s. The number one reason why people choose 1099, well, there's two main reasons. One of them is flexibility of schedule. There's no nine to five here. I mean, you could have a contract with a nine to five, but that's negotiable. It's not, it's not set in stone right off the bat. The biggest, the biggest reason for 1099s is the money. It's the money, guys. It's the money. Let's just get right to it. Okay. So 1099 gives you a lot of flexibility, but it also pays you and it pays you well if you go to the right place. Now, the jobs that I've been posting, I hire, um, I hire Biomed ones at like 70 to $75 an hour, up to a hundred dollars an hour for a Biomed one. Now a Biomed three can be also between 70 and $125 an hour. That's the range that I've been hiring. It depends on the job, the location. It depends on the cost of living in the region. And it, it depends on other factors like the customer and what they're willing to pay. So guys, it's when I advertise jobs, I don't, I don't go after the lowest paying jobs. All right. If, if a job is only offering $30 an hour, it's not something I'm advertising. Okay. Every single job that I've been advertising is $70 an hour to $125 an hour. And if it's a specialty type job, which would be, let's say ventilators, anesthesia, something like that, imaging, I've done those ones as well. It can be over $200 an hour, okay? So it does depend on what the customer wants, their needs, the emergency. So just, just be aware that there are certain things as a 1099 you're gonna be responsible for. You're going to be responsible for your taxes, first and foremost. So always take about one third of your pay and save it in an account for that rainy day. Now, if you're a 1099 LLC, 
there are many things you can do to decrease that amount, like tax write-offs. You can do tax write-offs for a magnitude of things. I'm not even going to go into them because there are thousands, if not tens of thousands of YouTube videos that go over all the different tax write-offs you can have as an LLC. And some of those tax write-offs depend on your unique situation, uh, your employees and stuff like that. There's so many tax write-offs. That's one of the reasons I suggest people go with an LLC. That, and it makes it very easy for somebody to hire you out as a company. So if you do a 1099 as an individual, only you can qualify. However, if you have family members or if you have friends or coworkers that want to go with you on a project, if you don't have an LLC, then they also have to be registered as a 1099 with a social security number. And it just makes the paperwork more, right? So there are many options if you choose your LLC. So remember, cost of living, it's something to factor in. And I usually go over that with all my candidates. I tell them because I do my research well, well in advance. Like I tell them everything that they need to know as long as the customer is willing to give that. The thing about 1099s is work can change. It can change quickly. Um, let's say they lose the contract or something and they're like, yeah, we're, we're going to end the contract. Even though it might have been for eight weeks, maybe you only get six weeks out of it. It really depends. It depends on the length of the project, the funding, um, also equipment availability. Because if you're installing a bunch of equipment in a hospital and there's a delay, let's say there's a uh, production back order or there's a necessity of a part that's missing, um, then you're, they're going to end the contract early. It's, it's just the way it is. And it will happen again in the future. So uh, my contracts have always been absolutely fantastic. I kind of cherry pick the ones. I, I do have the luxury of that. I pay probably some of the highest in the entire industry on my projects. I, w I, would, I would go against almost anybody and say I pay the highest. And uh, that's because I get the best of the best talent. And so many of you guys are so hungry. I've gotten so many people that have written me saying that they want to uh, be part of these projects. And right now, I think I have like 16 contractors around the country. 16. That's, that's in a phenomenal quantity and I have more contracts to fill um, and, and these just happen like in the middle of the night I'll get an email that says hey Justin we'd like you know two technicians for four weeks over here in let's say Chicago or something like that I'll find them I'll find them okay but guys if you want to make up your own schedule set your own rules or at least negotiate your own rules um, maybe you don't want a full-time gig maybe you just want to do one or two weekends a month and you're gonna make as much money as working full-time if you pick and choose the right jobs and um, I can tell you I've got I've got a buddy of mine who's a 1099 he took off work on a Friday he went up to Dallas and uh, he went up Thursday night showed up Friday morning and by the end of the weekend he went through a whole bunch of ventilators and by Monday morning I had him a ten thousand dollar check no lie guys so uh, that's the advantages of 1099 work. The money happens really quickly, and it's much higher than you would ever get working at an in-house position. Everything is up for negotiation on 1099s because often the customers want help immediately. So guys, that's just a, a little clue on what 1099 work is and why I advertise it so much. Guys, I've been, I know so many biomeds who have gotten out of this career field because they don't like the politics of working in an in-house position. They're stressed out by always having the, the numbers that they have to hit every single day. There's a lot of bad managers out there. 1099 work might be a solution for you, especially if you're an industrious person, you're hungry, you don't mind traveling. Hey, maybe your goal is you wanna travel. A lot of these military biomeds and stuff getting out of the service and they're like, what should I do next? If you don't know what you wanna do next, do 1099 work until you find a place you wanna live because the money is now, right? And it's more money, three to four times more money than you'd make for an in-house position, okay? If you find the, the right place. If I'm contracting you out, guaranteed, you're, you're making that money, all right? So if you guys have any other questions or if you wanna know about these projects I have coming up, you can write me at abetterbiomed at gmail.com. I'll leave the email address in the video description down below so you can check on it. And go ahead and email me if you want more information. Maybe I will have other companies come on here and we can talk about 1099 jobs that we've done. 
Contracting is technically the future of biomed. It's happening way more than it ever did before. And I would say that we are not only very competitive for price-wise, but we fit the demands much more quickly. If a hospital has a project or something that comes up, let's say they have a pump month, or let's say they have a construction project, or let's say a relocation project from one facility to the next or whatever, 1099, we get it done. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Write me down below if you have any more questions on what I'm doing and the kind of stuff that I've been involved with. Thanks for watching guys.